Hello and welcome to um, YEC Physics Revision class. Alright, so for today we'll be looking at um, YEC Revision for AC Circuit. With me is a compilation of um, several YEC questions from 1997 up to date. So I'll just pick from um, several topics and then we'll revise it together. First things first, um, for today's class we'll be looking at AC Circuit. We'll just revise as many questions as we can on AC circuit. Now, this is for one of the wire um, past question. It says, the inductive reactance of a circuit of frequency 100 hertz is 1 ohm. Full stop. Calculate the inductance of the inductor take pi to be equal to 3.14. So you have um, your values there. Well, let's get this done. So first is first, um, I will have to write solution for that question. My first task here is to list out my given parameters. So what am I given? So given, I'm given about one. Now, the question says the inductive reactance of a circuit of frequency 100 hertz. So the first thing I'm given there is the frequency. So number one, frequency. Frequency F is equal to 100 hertz. So we're done with this. Next up, it says is 1 ohm. 1 ohm there uh, represents the inductive reactance. So number two. Now, by the way, we represent reactance as X. Now, since this is for an inductor, it becomes XL. So inductive reactance, we have it as XL is equal to 1 ohm. You have this. We asked what calculate the inductance of the inductor. Number three, inductance is L is equal to unknown. Of course, inductance is measured in Henry. Now, finally, say take pi, pi as being equal to 3.14. All right, so we have this. All right, so next about get up my calculator and let's get this together. All right, we've treated the concept of AC in our previous class. And for that class, we said that an inductor is a device used for storing electrical energy. All right. To solve this question here, I'll have to first of all recall my formula. And my formula is this, that the inductance of an inductor XL is equal to, the formula is 2 pi FL. Right. Where F represents frequency L is your inductance in Henry. This value is given to us as 1. So I'll have that 1 is equal to 2 times pi. In this question, we're asked to take pi as 3.14. So become 1 times 3.14. So 2 times pi, 2 times 3.14 times frequency. The frequency given here is 100 hertz. So 100 hertz times L. L is your inductance, so I have this. All right, so my next task would be multiply all of this. So 1 is equal to 2 times 3.14 times 100. That gives about 6, 2, 8 times inductance. All right, so let's, let's get um, the inductance, or perhaps let's say make L subject of the formula. That would involve dividing here by 628, dividing here by 628. This cancels this. So hence L is equal to 1 all over 628. If I do this division, 1 divided by 628, my result is 0 0.00159. So, approximately, of course, inductance is measured in Henry. That's H. So, please note that Henry is the SI unit for inductance. All right. Um, if we refer back to our question, our answers were, provi were provided in index form. So, let's get this answer in index form. This is equal to, in index form, I'm having this as from here. 1, 2, 3. So, I'm having 1 point. So, it becomes 1 point. Five, nine. If I bring the point here, it becomes 1, 2, 3. So minus 3. 
So times 10 to the power minus 3 Henry. This is my answer. So this becomes the value for the inductance of that circuit. So let's check which option rhymes with this. Uh, I'll get my pass question and check the option. All right, for so what I'm seeing here, I um, think that's um, option B. That's 1.59 times 10 to the power minus 3. But it's not Newton, it's actually Henry. So it should be H, not N. All right, so that's how you solve this question. We take another question still on YX to revise AC circuit. All right, so let's look at yet another question on um, AC circuits as regards to YEC exam. Now, this question says the diagram above, which is what you have on the board there, is an illustration of an AC circuit. Calculate the reactance of the capacitor. All right, so in this question, we are asked to calculate the reactance of the capacitor. So I'll get my calculator and let's solve this together. All right. So for this question here, you're given this particular diagram. Um, uh, you have to find the reactance of the capacitor here. Of course, first of all, let's understand what this diagram means. For this diagram here, um, it's a circuit diagram that contains this. This one here re um, represents your resistor. And we have that the resistor has a resistance value of 500 ohms. This symbol here represents the capacitor. And the capacitor, as you can see, is 5, this is pronounced micro, so 5 microfarad, okay? What you have here is called your voltage frequency supply. So this is actually voltage and frequency, all right? So this becomes the value of the voltage, V, is 100 volts. And the frequency given here is 500 all over pi hertz. We have to find the reactance of the capacitor. How do we do this? Um, first is first. Let's recall from our class, what's the formula for the reactance of a capacitor? The reactance of a capacitor, Xc, is given by the formula 1 all over 2 pi Fc. This is the formula for the reactance of a capacitor. So that means if I'm to get reactance of capacitor, I need 1 is a constant, 2 pi is a constant. So I only need two things there. Number 1, the frequency of the circuit. Number two, the capacitance of the circuit. So from here, I can see that this is the frequency of the circuit, which is 500 all over pi hertz. And this becomes the capacitance of the circuit, which is 5 microfarad. That means in this question, I do not require this. Yes, it's given in the question, but I don't need it. Also, I'm given the voltage as 100 volts. For this question here, I do not need the value of what? The voltage. So let me pick out the ones I need. Number one, I need frequency. So number one, I'm given frequency. Um, frequency F, I'm given the value as 500 all over pi hertz. Finally, I have C. This C capacitance is equal to, I'm given 5 microfarad. But micro is a prefix in physics whose value is 10 to the power minus 6. So hence, this becomes 5. Micro is times 10 to the power minus 6. Then we have Farad. So I have this. All right, so having gotten the value for frequency and capacitance, I will substitute the value into this. So therefore, reactance of Capacitor that's Xc is equal to 1 all over 2 pi Fc. And that's equal to 1 all over 2 times pi is 3.142. In our previous example, we are told 3.14. In this case, we are not given. So you can use 3.142 if you want to. Or you can still use the value of pi directly if you want to. See the same thing times, or better still, since I have pi here, I would preferably keep the value of pi, since I have pi here, okay, times pi, so it becomes 2 times pi, times f, so times frequency is this, 
500 all over pi then times c capacitance which is this that becomes 5 times 10 to the power minus 6 because of the micro so that's equal to i'm having one all over if i punch all of the denominator becomes two times pi times 500 over pi times 5 times 10 to the power minus 6. My value here gives me 0 0.005. So please make sure you're punching correctly. All right, punch this correctly. You have this value. To make it easier for you, you can choose to cancel pi. You can say pi cancels pi, so it's off. So it becomes 2 times 500, which is 1000. 1000 times this. 1000 is 10 to the power 3. 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power minus 3 gives you 10 to the power, sorry, 10 to the power 3 multiplying 10 to the power minus 6 gives you 10 to the power minus 3. So 5 times 10 to the power minus 3 gives you this. Of course, from here, 1, 2, 3. So that's like um, a manual or head calculation. So it's correct. So that's equal to, if I punch this correctly, it becomes 1 all over 0 0.005. And that gives me 200. So that means the reactance of the capacitor is 200. Now, mind you, reactance is measured in ohms. So it becomes 200 ohms. So we'll take up the question and see which of the options rhymes with 200 ohms. Okay, so for what I have here, 200 ohms is option C. So that means the correct answer here is option c all right so these are few questions on um, reactants that we can take for y we've already done a full lecture or a full study of ac circuits from the very scratch we've covered everything in another video so if you want to watch the full tutorial video on ac circuits simply click on the video you see here all right then see you in our next class